Hey, hey everyone. Today I want to show you how to build a formula in Excel, which is similar to the COUNTIF or the SUMIF function. But this one, we're going to count the number of cells based on the cell color. Or we're going to sum the values of those cells based on the cell color. So let's show you how this is done. Okay, so here's the live example and you can see some cell values in column B here. And on the right, we are counting those values and also summing them based on that cell color. So for example, with red, we've got two cells that add up to 10, count of two and a sum of 10. Now, if we change one of those cell values from two to say 10, it's now automatically updated it to have two as a count and 18 as the sum. We can also change one of the colors from yellow to red. And now automatically it's updated again, count of three and a sum of 27. So it's really simple. There's a couple of steps along the way, but let's get started and show you how this is done. Okay, so first things first is we need to build a formula that counts or sums values based on a cell color. But unfortunately, Excel doesn't have a function that does this automatically. So we're gonna to have to build one, but it's really simple to do. And that's the great thing about Excel is it allows you to build any formula you like. So I'm gonna use Visual Basic. I'm gonna show you in less than a minute, in two steps, without any Visual Basic experience. So let's get into the spreadsheet and you select Alt F11 to bring up your Visual Basic editor. All you need to do is go to the left hand side here. This is step one. Click on module one and paste in my formula for this new function called cell color. Then we're gonna go back to the left hand side, double click this workbook and we're going to paste in the second part of the function which is an automatic calculation of this function every time it changes. You don't need to worry about what that means. You can do further experience and learn more about Visual Basic. In this stage, all you need to do is copy and paste what I have in the description below. And then all we do is simply shut down the Visual Basic editor. So I'll come over here to column C, open it up and show you how this new function works. Equals cell color. So you can see it now appears my new function, cell color. And simply after the bracket, I'm just gonna select B2. It's gonna give me this unique number, which represents the color. Every color in Excel has its own unique number. And then over on this reference table, I'm gonna do the same thing. Equals cell color, my new function, and reference E2. Drag the formula down and copy it for the other colors. And now I'm gonna simply create my uh, count if or sum if function. So with red, equals count if what am I going to count I'm going to count the range of C and how many times it matches H2 and it matches it three times I'll drag that down and you can see it updates for the other colors as well and then simply the sum if function equals sum if open the brackets sum the range of C comma that matches H2 comma and we're going to bring back or sum the values in column B. Close the brackets and press enter and you can see it has summed the values. Now you can simply just hide this column or change it to a different color to make your spreadsheet a little bit more visually pleasing. And one last thing you've just got to remember is when you do save this file, you've got to go and save it and save it as an Excel macro enabled workbook. Not just your regular XLSX ending, but the XLSM. Because whenever you use Visual Basic, you've just got to make sure that you save the macros and allow this Visual Basic to work. And this only happens when you save it as an Excel macro enabled workbook. So hopefully you enjoyed what you saw. Please subscribe, click the like button. See you next time.